Good morning, everyone. And we are going to listen to another story about the Red Sea. All right, so what I'm going to do is share my screen, and then you guys can listen and follow along. All right, the Red Sea. God did many miracles to free the Israelites from slavery. Finally, Pharaoh told the Israelites to leave Egypt. The Israelites were very happy to be free. Soon after they left, though, Pharaoh started to think. I wish I hadn't released the Israelites. I want them to come back. He called his helpers, and they all agreed that they should not have let the Israelites go. So again, Pharaoh is breaking his promise that he wouldn't let them all go, right? Let's go after them and bring them back to be our slaves. Pharaoh ordered his servants to grab their armor and chariots. A chariot is a special carriage behind a horse that can go very fast. The Egyptians would have no problem catching up to the Israelites. Soon, Pharaoh and his men found Moses and his people. They were camped next to the Red Sea. The sea was very big and very deep. There was no bridge. With the Egyptians behind them and the sea in front of them, the Israelites had nowhere to go. Do you think God had forgotten them? They were very scared. Moses said, do not be afraid. God will protect us. We do not have to fight the Egyptians because God will do all our fighting for us. The angel of the Lord who had been leading the Israelites moved to stand between them and the Egyptians. God told Moses to raise his staff over the sea. A very strong wind began to blow. The waters of the Red Sea divided and the ground in the middle was dry. The Israelites stepped onto the path between the high walls of water and began to walk across the bottom of the sea. They crossed to the other side. Only the Egyptians followed them into the sea. The Egyptians still thought they could make the Israelites be their slaves again, but things were not going well for them. Their chariot wheels wouldn't work and they were confused. Let's go home, they shouted. The Lord is fighting for the Israelites. Then God told Moses to wave his staff again. The giant walls of water crashed back into place. All the Egyptians who had tried to hurt the Israelites were swept away. The Israelites saw all that God had done to protect them from the Egyptians. They feared him and put their trust in God. They were also filled with joy. They wanted to praise God. Moses and all the people began to sing a song to God. Miriam, Moses' sister, and her friends played instruments. Together, they all praised God from saving them from the Egyptians. Okay, so again, even though they were scared, Moses knew that God would keep them safe and protect them from the Egyptians. All right, so I have some questions for you guys to answer and I will see you all soon. Bye.